now I'd like to show you how to make a perfect mitered border for a quilt. It comes out great and I've got a wonderful technique to show you. Now I've sewn my borders on and how I did this was I sewed one border all the way on that side. Then when I added the border that was to meet this side, I came up and stitched right to where I could fill that seam. I didn't want to go over that seam even one stitch or under that seam. One stitch just right to that seam and you can feel it. The other thing when you're adding this border is you want to make sure both pieces of, of the borders that come up to the corner are, are long enough that they there's fabric clear to that corner. You don't want this border to to end, you know, back here and then you really can't do a miter because there's no fabric up there. So you make sure that they are plenty long. So what you want is so that that fabric comes right to that corner. Not over, not onto this fabric, but right to the corner. From the point that we were so exact to sew right to that corner, we're going to pull it up like that. Now, we want to make sure that this underneath part lines up with this underneath border. Now, this piece was a little bit short, but because of my seam allowance, that will be covered. Then I'll take it up. I'll open it up from here, pin it, and press it so that I will have a nice crease that will give me my stitching line. Once I've creased it with an iron, I'll open it up like this. I still have my pins, and I want to pull these two seams from the border back like that so that this point will be exposed when I sew this creased line. I want that sewing to come right to that point that we were so careful to sew earlier. Now I've sewn that line and again see how these two when they're folded out they line up exactly together and then I've pulled the two seams from putting the border on uh, to, uh, out so that I could get that stitch right to that corner and then check to make sure you've got a perfect miter look how beautiful that is now I'll know that I've got my angle right this comes this edge comes up straight and this edge is straight they don't bow out okay now I've got this pressed and these corners turn out perfect and that's why I like this method it's the best method I've seen for absolutely perfect mitered corners and I hope this tutorial helps you